We're headed into Northern Virginia where the big five weapons manufacturers all are headquartered, heading to the Northrop Grumman shareholder meeting to deliver this petition to the shareholders. I have a question related to your commitment to human rights and sustainability. Do you provide arms to so-called Israel and Saudi Arabia? We disclose our sales to foreign governments, which represent approximately 13% of our sales as a corporation. And we do not disclose specific contract details associated with those sales. Uh, however, we do have a very robust approach to determining who we will sell to and what we will sell them. We are very committed to ensuring that the products we sell are in the hands of responsible governments. And we do that both with our internal processes and in close coordination with the U.S. federal government and their export regime. So we are funding the atrocities that so-called Israel and Saudi Arabia are carrying out in Palestine and on the Yemeni people. And so if a robust transparency would then mean that we know exactly where those things are going. So I call that hypocrisy out. And also in terms of your commitment to sustainability, we have thousands of people who sign on wanting North of Grauman to invest in a just transition and create jobs that are green and sustainable because the very having of weapons is perpetuating the climate crisis. The nuclear testing, the arms sales, F-35 fighter jets that are going and crashing down and toxifying indigenous lands and waters and clean air. So what does your commitment to sustainability look like? Very proud of the work that we're doing in this regard and believe that as we introduce new systems, our consideration of climate is making the world a better and more sustainable sustainable place, not only by protecting people through the products we provide and supporting democracy around the globe, but also taking our sustainability responsibility seriously by setting those targets and providing transparency into the progress we're making against them. Well, I encourage all of you, weapons manufacturers in the military industrial conflict at its core is perpetuating human rights violations in the climate crisis. And I hope that you all will move away from the war economy into a more just one for a livable future for everyone.